back everybody. Thank you very much for rejoining after my first video. So this is the second video on my channel. Again, this is language I never thought I would ever use in my life. I'm especially uh, thrilled that you're joining me for a second time, which means you survived the first video. I'm going to let a couple of my colleagues introduce themselves to you. They're going to talk a little bit about the fundraising that we're doing to support the cause for of um, helping uh, children and adolescents with the current mental health crisis around the country, and in particular in the place that I work, which is Rhode Island. So they're going to talk about some pretty serious stuff, but hopefully you'll see a, a, a hopeful and an optimistic tone in their voices. Hello, my name is Elizabeth Lowenhaupt. I am a pediatrician, psychiatrist, and child psychiatrist living and practicing right here in Providence, Rhode Island. I'm uh, Jeffrey Hunt. I'm a, also a child psychiatrist and am the program director for the Child Psychiatry Fellowship um, at Brown and also a practicing psychiatrist on inpatient units. Prior to the pandemic, there were not enough resources here in Rhode Island for children and families seeking behavioral health care. Since the pandemic, that situation has become even more dire. Children, adolescents, and families are finding themselves in crisis situations. Children may have lost caregivers. Families may be disrupted due to changes in school routines. And we are seeing a huge increase in the presentation to emergency services for, for suicide attempts, um, for aggressive and out of control behaviors, and for other crisis type situations. Uh, this uh, problem with uh, the post-pandemic surge in child behavioral health is national. The Surgeon General and the American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry, the American Academy of Pediatrics declared a um, um, national emergency this past year. The rates of suicide were climbing in all age groups, including in children, and there's even greater numbers of younger children who have been attempting suicide. And part of the challenge is access to care. That the parents of these children um, are recognizing problems, they're reaching out for help, and they're being told there's long wait lists. So one of the areas that we're hoping that this fund will address is the fact that a lot of, of our uh, psychiatry colleagues are now having to treat patients without any extra support from social work, from psychology, uh, or from other mental health professionals. Um, and the fund will hopefully allow more people to be trained to deliver this kind of care for this high need population. What we saw when so many children were doing remote learning um, was actually an increase in the severity of patients presenting with trauma, um, things like child abuse going on in the home. Um, lack of food, other basic resources that patients had, all of those kinds of situations, or losing a parent to COVID, or having a parent in the hospital with COVID who couldn't breathe and not being able to visit them. Those all added trauma to our patients. Um, when Dom let me know that he was interested in uh, tying his hike through the Appalachian Mountains with a cause like Children's Behavioral Health, uh, we were thrilled. And as we were talking before, the crisis is at such a level now, after the two years of the pandemic, we need all the resources uh, that we can come up with. The, the timing really couldn't be better. This is a time when our entire country is talking about children's behavioral health and what a crisis we're in. And what we really need are, are people like Dom who will take this on as an initiative and people like you who will consider contributing to it. Yeah, we have a map of United States that shows where our graduates have ended up and there's only a few states where we have no representation and a lot of the areas are quite underserved including states like New Mexico and Montana and parts of the uh, parts of the south as well. We want to thank you all so much for paying attention to this crucial issue. We are so grateful to Dom in particular for highlighting this area of work and this critical area of need. And we wish him all the best as he goes on his hike. We look forward to hearing from Dom throughout his hike and, and talking about these issues. And 
looking forward to hearing from you and and hopefully you'll also agree that this is, this is an important cause and this is the time to uh, donate to it. Thanks a lot. Thank you for listening. That'll do it for this uh, video. I hope you'll subscribe and uh, follow me along. I've made two videos. I haven't even set foot on the trail yet, but, uh, but it's getting close. And uh, I'll remind you that the link for donation is at the bottom along with a link to uh, the Mighty Blue podcast where I've done a couple of interviews with Steve Adams and uh, we have a lot of fun with that as well. So please follow along and thank you so much for, uh, for your time and your attention to this cause. See you later.